And then we will now hand over to Marcus. So there is Marcus. Hello, hello everyone. Is it okay now? Perfect. We can see your screen and we can hear you. Super. So uh, thank you and uh, welcome everyone. It's a, I would say it's good that we can get all connected, but you know, been you know several uh, times and attending the the face to face company in uh, the face to face meetings in in, in South Africa. Uh, I would prefer you know to be there with you and and, and talking and uh, and interacting with the with the attendees and and the team. You always put a super good show together and. Uh, it's a pity that we cannot get there, but you know, by the other hand, we have all the possibility to to attend from different places and and also get more, you know, a different type of uh, let's say production. But anyway, uh, thanks for the invitation, and uh, I, I was asked to put like a an overview together with a recent update of of the product. You know, and I can tell you that, you know, over the last, I'd say, year, year and a half that we didn't present at the Kyofing Soft meeting, you know, the the focus uh, from our development team was uh, always, you know, performance, because for us, you know, and the users in South Africa might, might notice that, you know, performance is paramount. And more recently, you know, we have been focusing a lot on the integration with the ANSYS uh, products and the portfolio. So that's what I'm going to be covering during the next, you know, 20 minutes. OK, but just to start, you know, as part of the introductory uh, aspect. OK, uh, Rocky is not, you know, a, a traditional particle modeling tool, a traditional DM tool. It's more of a what we call a next generation particle modeling too. You know, if you if you figure out, you know, in early 2000 when all of this started, you know, we were talking about the hundreds, you know, thousands of particles, just spheres, okay, uh, and mainly used in academia for R&D simulation. But if you, if you pay attention on what we have been delivering in terms of a commercial tool, okay, we were the first codes in, in launching, you know, particle shapes. And then we start, you know, developing, you know, and, and, and introducing into the industry breakage model uh, in South Africa is you now mining is strong. So uh, there was, you know, a big thing. We always keep attending you know, the combination conferences and presenting about, you know, the work that we do on particle breakage. We were the first ones in, in working and migrating a, a solver version that runs fully on uh, GPUs, which, you know, takes advantage of the of the hardware uh, implementation and and deliver a speed uh, that is you know uncomparable. Okay, we have been focused on multi physics integration, not only the solver that you know that goes with Rocky Dam. It's also you know how to connect the particle solution with other physics. Okay, then we have been pushing multi GPUs. To, to do you no know, massive, you know, GPU parallelization. Uh, our particles were not, you know, have different shapes. They can break, but then also became, you know, flexible as well. Uh, we have introduced, you know, industry leading uh, coarse grading model to handle, you know, systems with, you know, millions or billions of particles. Uh, more recently, we have been enhancing and exposing the API that we've been using ourselves to to the community so the software became quite you know easy to customize and of course always working and enhancing you know our solution as far as the uh hpc is concerned in terms to optimize the process but this is you know what we have today it's common to see customers you know instead of you know modeling a hundred thousand particles working in hundreds of millions OK, uh, and it's nice to see the over the last you know, decade, the migration from 
few academic papers to really, you know, interesting engineering applications, as you're going to see on the program. You know, I, I'll be attending and seeing the Warm Minerals presentation, which is uh, quite uh, impressive. OK, but this is, you know, migrating all these uh, academics and 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 theory into the code. This only happens with, you know, a strong R&D investment. That's why Rocky, you know, has been the the leading code as far as, you know, new features, new ways of doing things, new models in terms of, you know, uh, commercial software. So just a little bit as 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 the introduction goes, OK, so Rocky is a is a particle modeling tool, as we were talking about. But this is, you know, actually a nice video because we couldn't show the real case. OK, but this is you can see, you know, like a, a buggy. OK, a simple car uh, running through a, a, a road with, you know, a lot of debris. OK, let's say haze and hay and and and, and rocks that gets, you know, entrapped and, 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 and connected, you know, and, and, and into you know, a lot of different uh, regions within the, the, uh, the back portion of, of the car. Okay, the suspensions. And, you know, the key point here from one of the customers that we were working on was, you know, what happens with, you know, these material get close to hot engine and uh, it becomes like a, a problem to them. So you can see that, you know, particles that were different shapes and sizes and, and flexible. OK, so a, a little bit of, a, of the overview, you know, Rocky is known by its multiple particle shapes. So 3D particles, you know, genetic polyhedral solids, fibers, which has been quite used to within the agriculture industry, food industry, OK, automotive industry, shells, OK. Uh, breakage modeling, uh, multi-GPU processing, as I mentioned, ENSYS integration. Rocky has uh, a bit of a multi-body dynamics capability. Most of the equipment that handles material from point A to point B, they are, you know, they have different, you know, motion and complex motion mechanisms. So we have uh, a multi-body dynamics uh, solver implemented into the code, but we also have capability to, to talk to other multi-body codes. And more recently, you know, a large uh, customization uh, API has been uh, made available to, to users to, to, to play and have access to direct, you know, not only the GUI, but solver, solver routines. So when, when we talk about shapes, that's what we, we usually have. You know, people working in a, in a tumbler with bolts and nuts, or you know, a, a seasoning or a coating process of potato chips. Okay, or uh, a baler with you know, uh, quite common on on agriculture industry. And and the interesting here on this uh, left uh, example is not only the hay fibers we're modeling using Rocky, but also the belts. OK, that we're modeling using, you know, 2D shell elements. So it's you can see the application is going far beyond traditional DM with glued spheres. Going into the, the bracket side, you can see, you know, uh, common and traditional uh, communication uh, equipment on the right, uh, a cold pressure. Uh, last time, you know, we we talk about green, right, and and, and saving energy and, and 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 optimizing resources. Last time that I saw, uh, close to 1.5 to 2 percent of the total, you know, world's electricity is used to break rocks. So if you if you help companies to to do that in efficient way, you also you know helping the planet to save energy. You know, so it's a, it's a, although people do not correlate that, it's actually, you know, very true. And uh, this is just a testimonial of uh, one of our uh, large customers in, in Europe uh, using Rocky and, and implementing uh, the technology in a way that is really becoming, you know, a virtual laboratory.
to test uh, and, and crush rocks. Another interesting thing we have been pushing is the ability to run the solver you know, in a very accurate manner. It means solving large cases with sometimes, you know, having, you know, particles uh, on the real size, one to one, but this is only possible if you if you use large machines and 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 uh, we have been able to to run in, in several GPUs and and you can see that uh, because we we have a a true uh, Nvidia CUDA implementation we can leverage all the existing routines that are available inside the you know the graphics card that they, they were developed to to optimize and to make it easy, you know, and faster the computer graphics, okay, for the movie industry or for the game industry, we uh, can use all those routines in order to to speed up particle particle and particle boundary interaction, okay. So it's it's actually you know the the CPU uh, uh, comparison it's 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 really you know impressive you know with a four GPU recently, uh, you know, launched card from NVIDIA can be, you know, several hundreds. In this case, you're 700 times faster than, you know, one CPU core. So we strongly recommend people to use it. This is just, you know, another testimonial of one of our customers on the pharma industry, uh, BMS, and uh, they have been using, you know, Rocky to model <laughs> granulators Coulters, uh, general you know, material handling like compression and and screening and separation. And uh, uh, the good thing with these customers, we are trying to not only model laboratory scale problems, but also you know uh, production scale process. Okay. Another very important aspect of our recent. Uh, integration with Vansas is that we are pretty much uh, able to connect and primarily through WorkMesh, as you our ENSI users are familiar with, to most of the key physics within uh, within ANSYS. So here you can see the for those who are familiar with the WorkMesh framework, this is the you know the flow okay of the main window where you have the geometry here. You have, you know, a CFD solution like this box, you know, the B box here uh, being uh, solved using uh, on that geometry. You have Rocky, okay, in the box T, that you put, you know, particles to within that flow, okay, within the CFD solution, and you can actually analyze the effect of the flow and the rocks, for example, or the particles within the structure then you can see here you know the d box and the beauty is that all the parameters are exposed from all these components so workmatch knows their input and output parameters that you can actually connect them through uh, an optimization or multi-objective optimization environment to find like a response surface or an optimum point varying different parameters that vary you know that goes from the geometry uh to you know flow uh, characteristics or particle size distribution or even a material that you are analyzing on the structural analysis okay so this is a really truly let's say multi-physics environment when you have you no know, cfd dm and and structures okay so people are designing and using you know uh, let's say uh, ground engaging tools with rocky and Ansys mechanical for example Okay, this is a traditional excavator uh, on a heavy industry side. Companies like Hyundai, Komatsu, uh, Liber, Mining, uh, Takraf, and, uh, and others that develop a, a lot of these components. And then on the left side, you can see the interaction with the ground, and on the right side, you can see uh, forces and stresses that are automatically transmitted into a mechanical. Okay. And you can calculate the load and, and the formation. The video has a sound. More recently, 
not only enabling our built-in motion capability, we have launched the integration with ANSYS Motion. Uh, when you have, you know, complex, you know, nested and chain motions, you want to actually to do, you know, rigid and flexible uh, analysis together with, you know, complex motions. OK, geometry to geometry interaction and, and a lot of other things. You you leverage uh, a more complex, you know, uh, motion simulation analysis. And here you can see uh, the snowmobile, OK, uh, coming down and, and, and all the suspension, all the dynamics of the of the you know snowmobile was was developed using uh, uh, motion, and the snow actually is the is the particle. Okay, so the interaction with the ground, which in this case is snow, it was uh, done uh, with uh, rocky. Another interesting application we, we usually show is the a tractor on a on agriculture field okay so of course we are you know amplifying the uh, things here in order to make it easy to visualize but you can you can see you know all these uh, dynamics of of the tractor going through a uh, a complex terrain you can analyze the the effects on on the ground what, what is happening with the soil, the motion, and of course the reaction on the real time, you know, so you can build really an off-road virtual testing ground in order to, to analyze your vehicle, things like that. On the CFD side has been, a, I would say, more than five, six years of joint development with Anzus. And we have been exposed to a wide variety of applications from cyclone separators, dryers, filtration, you know, systems with, you know, a lot of fine particles like fluidizations, you know, or even, you know, slurry mules, solid suspension, particle transportation, you know, and coating. Uh, problems involving, you know, one way or two way coupling with ANSYS FD, primarily fluent. Problems involving, you know, heat and mass transfer, chemical reactions. Uh, and, and Rocky brings a, a lot of capabilities that, you know, enables you to more efficiently uh, account for a class of problems where, you know, particle-particle uh, and particle boundary interaction are not important. So these are the classes of, let's say, fluid dominated problems, but we do need to take particles into account in a more of a accurate manner when you have to take into account particle shapes, uh, and you have to to account, you know, problems with, you know, high particle loading. Rocky it has been, you know, a good solution to to help customers on on uh, in a robust way to to tackle complex, you know, uh, multi-phase problems. Here's is is an interesting one. It's a a, a lawn mover, okay, uh, where you can see uh, the grass uh, being cut, okay. This is a, an interesting case, but uh, you can see the blades and, and the air, okay, uh, transporting the the grass. And of course, the the analysis is, was done with the objective to to understand the amount of material that was, you know, uh, filling the bag, okay. But you can see here, you know, our flexible fibers model use it to to model the grass and and, and our breakage model to to simulate the cutting process together with the CFD couple solution. Another interesting thing is that using our, you know, coarse graining models, using, you know, the integration with Fluent, using, you know, multiple GPUs, this is a traditional, let's say, cyclone separation, separator, okay? But, you know, people were not able to, to run with such a high level of accuracy when you are working with filtration devices, uh, you know, within the automotive industry, for example, or the oil and gas industry, you need to have very, you know, a high fidelity model that can can actually give, you know, the, the separation efficiency with a lot of detail. So in this case here, just to to emphasize the the improvements on the on the latest releases and the and how far it can go in particle count. This is a problem that was uh, simulated using Fluent and Rocky uh, in 
we reach up to you know 200 million of particles from 5 to 100 uh, microns okay and it was run you know you know of course you see here but it's a very fast flow you're just looking at 0.5 seconds of simulation but this is a super high fidelity case with uh, an impressive large amount of particles that are accurately model okay so it's not i know it's not dpm it's not uh euler euler it's actually you're solving each one of these particle motions with you know a high level of fidelity going into the more recent themes you know the digital transformation and and i saw a lot i mentioned you know and, and david on, on the answers portfolio involving you know platform and systems okay uh within this last uh, release from you know a few months ago we we, we emphasize the integration with OptisLang for design optimization. We are more and more engaging in helping customers to build digital twins for their systems, okay, using a uh, twin builder. And of course, going to the platform side, uh, Rocky is now, you know, let's say visible and, and readable by, by Minerva. So if you're using the ANSYS platform for uh, SDPDM, um, Rocky is is a one of their intelligent files that you can manage that you can visualize without having to open the software. So this is a, a super nice application here that I always like to emphasize because we're showing values of one simulation, but what people do today is design optimization. And OptisLang is a super uh, powerful tool. Uh, okay, here in this case, it, it is an example from there a pharma company that was working on, on developing you know, uh, coaters. Okay, so they want to, to maximize uh, the batch process by, by doing that very fast. So they want to, to, to minimize the discharge. By the other hand, okay, the discharge time. By the other hand, they want to maximize the mixing. And they want to do that really fast without uh, having you know, high shear zones. So they want to do fast. They don't want to have any impact on the particles, okay? And they want the efficiency to become really, really fast. So what they do that, they, they set up a, an environment where they, they have actually an automatic geometric change with OptisLang that solves innumerable uh, rocky uh, models. And using optimization, you can find, you know, the what's the, the set of parameters within their geometry and the particles that you know could enhance the mixing time and doing that in the shortest time as possible. So this is on the left. You can see a lot of you know design variations that they were playing with, and 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 the results before and after. Okay, so this is just a short video of the selected design. In order to finalize here my talk, this is. A, a new trend. So when you were able to do multiple runs, when you were able to to design, you know, come up with a, a response surface, you know, ANSYS enables you to get that type of information and 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 do uh, instead of you know a, I would say an expensive uh, 3D model that runs within hours. Uh, we, of course, it's high fidelity, but might take eventually a few days uh, to all this optimization and 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 and, and massive computation and, and covering this response surface to build an accurate uh, 1D model, okay, that is able to deliver for that response surface domain uh, a, a result in few seconds. I would say with 90 plus percent of accuracy, and that 1D model can be connected to your whole you know control system that gets you know connected to sensors that is connected to the, you know, your real uh, system loop or a real device that you can play with, you know, and understand uh, on real time what is happening once you start measuring something that it's not what you were expecting to. And uh, this is, uh, was built using, you know, Rocky OptisLang for building the, the response surface or, or any other, you know, let's say uh, algorithm like, you know, AI or machine learning, and then it's all migrating into ANSYS Twin Builder to build the ROM, the reduced order model that enables you know fast simulation 
yeah. still maintain, you know, the 3D physics behind that because it was used to create this response surface. OK, so this was done for a crusher, but we are doing that for several other, you know, applications. And that's it, you know, to finalize, you know, we are expanding and, and, and open the code. People can actually access to the server level, to the API, to the GUI level and, and play a lot with all these interesting variables and models that we have built into the code. And uh, this is uh, enabling access to not only, you know, our traditional, let's say, mining sector or pharma sector where where DM were, was, was primarily used, but food and beverage, you know, people doing, you know, uh, recycling, uh, biomass reactors, a lot of pushing to these, you know, these the last few months on the uh, ESG companies, you know, environmental sustainability, green applications and uh, uh, powder metals uh, and, and things like that. So this has been, you know, a quite interesting journey for us behind uh, Rocky Dam. Uh, been exposed to a wide variety of, you know, industry and problems. So that's it. Hope I could cover uh, a wide variety of cases and showing what we have been focusing with uh, with our code recently. Lara is with you now. Yeah. Hello, Marcus. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I agree. Thank you very much. It was very informative. Um, much appreciated. Um, I think there has been a few questions in the chat. Um, I've seen JC has gone back to those questions with some answers. We have, will have a Q&A afterwards. Um, but for now, I will hand over to Jero from CFTOBO. Thank you very much, Marcus. Okay. Thank you.